Okay, now we're going to do the body. The first few rows of the body is the same as the head. Okay, we're going to do a magic circle or a magic ring. So inside the magic ring, we're going to do six single crochet. Okay, six single crochet. So in the six single crochet, we're going to do increase all around, meaning two single crochet in each stitch. So just now we started with six, and now we're going to do increase in each. So we're going to get 12 stitches all around. Okay, 12 stitches all around and just make sure you pull this tight and seal the middle part okay and now we're gonna do one single crochet followed by an increase on the third row One single crochet, followed by increase. So add a marker, and you continue in the same manner until the end of the row. Okay, this row you should have 18 stitches all around. And now we're gonna do single crochet in the next two followed by increase so one two increase increase means two single crochet in the same stitch and you continue in the same manner and I come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. Okay, in this row you should have 24 stitches all around. So next round I'm going to do increase first. Increase means two single crochet in the same stitch. Followed by three single crochet in the next. I mean single crochet in the next three. So one, two, three, increase, and one, two, three. So this round we're going to do increase first, followed by three single crochet. So this round you should have 30 stitches all around. Okay, now row six we're going to do single crochet in the next four. Followed by an increase. So one, two, three, four, then increase. And you repeat the same thing until the end of the row, and you should have 36 stitches all around. Okay, now row seven, we're gonna do increase first. Increase means two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, let's add my marker. And then 
single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. So in this round, you're going to get 42 stitches all around. Okay, row 8, we're going to do single crochet in the next 6 followed by an increase. 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we do an increase and you follow in the same manner until the end of the row and you should have 48 stitches all around okay from now row 9 until row 16 we're going to do in this manner that is 15 single crochet in black or grey from here to here 18 single crochet in white and here to here again 15 single crochet in black so you're gonna do this until the end of row 16 in the same manner so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and the fifteen is the time when you should change color get a yarn and in the white pull the black and I'll hide the tail inside here so that it's kind of lock it it will not come off so here you should have 18 whites Oops. Okay, once you add the eighteen. Change color. Pull this tight, and you bring along the white, and you crochet the dark color. And you continue in this same manner until row 16 so i'll come back to you once i'm at the end of row 16. okay this is how it looked like at the end of row 16. okay so now row 17 we're going to do six single crochet followed by a decrease we're going to do six sets of that meaning one two three four five six i'm oh, sorry here one two three four five six and a decrease means a two together then a one, two, three, four, five, six, and a two together. Okay, so you're gonna have six sets of it, and this marker is to mark where I'm gonna do a decrease and not where I'm gonna change color. 
Okay. So all in, you're going to get 13 black, uh, 13 stitches in black, 16 stitches in white, and another 13 stitches in black. So all in, in this round, you should have 42 stitches all around. So now, I'm going to do the first set. Let me add my marker to mark the first stitch of the round. Okay, six stitches and do a decrease. Same thing. Six stitches and we do a two together. So these two together is going to be white in color. Why? Because here I'm supposed to have 13 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 13. So this is the time to change color before I do the two together. Okay, this is the two together. Now another set of six single crochet. And a two together. six single crochet so this last two we're gonna do a two together and don't forget there's one more white the time to change back the color so, so this is one two three four five six and this last two is gonna be a two together and one more last set Okay, and the last two, we're going to do a two together. So here, I have 13 black or grey, 16 white and 13 grey. Okay, now row 18 and 19. It's going to be single crochet all around. There's no increase or decrease, uh, which means you're going to have 13 black. 16 white and another 13 black for two rows row 18 and 19 so I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 19 okay now row 20 we're gonna do five single crochet followed by a decrease here one two three four five followed by a decrease that is a two together and you're gonna do six sets of this and this round, we should have 11 
black, 14 white and 11 black. Okay, so now I'm going to do 5. Okay, five, and the balance two here, we're going to do a two together. All this, if it's, it tuck out too much, I will use the needle to get it in. Because sometimes the other color look out too much. Okay, we're going to do six sets of these. So one, oops, I accidentally took the white along, the previous white. Two, three, four, five, and a two together. So here we should have eleven black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is eleven. So this is the time to change color before I do a two together after the two together another round one two three four Five, the balance two, we're going to do a two together or a decrease. Okay, and the last two together. Or the white so here you should have 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 there's one more white here so after this white I'm gonna change it back to gray or black in my case it's gray two Three. I see sometimes and I buy yarn this happens in between the yarns but if, since it's an amigurumi I'll hide this inside but if this is a bag or a blouse or a top and you would have to cut this and restart okay the last two I'm gonna do the two together And I'm going to hide this inside. So again, one, two, three, four, five, and a two together. So this row, you're going to get 36 stitches all around. Okay, now for row 21 and 22, we're going to do a single crochet all around. 
meaning everything will be the same there's no decrease or increase just do 11 black 14 white and 11 black same goes for row 22 so 21 22 single crochet all around so I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 22 okay this row we're gonna do decrease row 23 we're gonna do four single crochet one two three four followed by a decrease so here one two three four followed by a decrease so if you want to know when you're gonna change color you should have nine stitches of black 12 stitches of white and nine stitches of black so all in you should have 30 stitches all around so if you couldn't catch this you can go to my blog I will share the description link I will share the blog in the description link below and you can get all the written pattern there the free written pattern there okay so this one you do as per the previous few rows so long you get six sets you can add a marker first six sets of single crochet in the next four followed by a decrease and when to change color you just make sure you have nine black 12 white and nine black and you should have 30 stitches in this row i'll come back to you once i'm at the end of the row okay this time round row 24 we're going to do three single crochet that is one two three followed by a decrease same thing one two three followed by a decrease so you have six sets of this and you should have black uh, seven black ten white and seven black and all in you should have 24 stitches all around okay now this row we're gonna do two single crochet one two followed by a decrease okay one two and then a decrease decrease means the two together same thing six sets so in this round you're gonna get uh, five black 8 white and 5 black so all in you're gonna get 18 stitches all around so after this row it's best that you add some stuffing and later on before the last row before we completely seal it we add more stuffing okay this is the last row I have add some stuffing I can add later on because we're not gonna seal this hole we're just gonna attach the heat here to cover this up so now we're gonna do single crochet all around we're going to do 5 black, 8 white, and 5 more black. Then that's it. So this is 1, 2, 3, and five and change color so we are going to have eight whites it's all single crochet Okay, after it we're gonna change color so after I change color I'm not gonna bring the white with me I'm gonna leave the white here because the white part here you're gonna attach it to the white part of the head so this tail I'm gonna leave it at the white here I'm gonna cut I'm gonna leave a long tail before I cut so that I can sew it onto the head so now we did five black eight white and five more black okay 
same thing here you leave a long tail you make sure you leave a long tail here for the black and the white and add more stuffing before we attach the head make sure the white part it's around the white part <laughs> okay so now we move on to the uh, wings and the legs okay, now I'm gonna make the feet I'm gonna use the same color as the beak so we start by making a magic ring it's going to be a flat feet Magic ring, we do six single crochet into the ring. After we do six single crochet in the ring, we do increase. Then there's two single crochet in each stitch. And at the same time, I'm going to hide this tail. This is one single crochet. So I'm going to do one more in the same stitch. So one increase. Two increase. And I'm gonna hide this tail behind because this is going to be a flat feet. There's two single crochet in each stitch, so you should have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12. So this one, I'll bring it to the front. Oops. Okay, so I have 12 stitches here. Oops, okay. 12 stitches. Now I'm going to slip stitch to the first chain here. I'm going to chain 3. You slip stitch to the next stitch. And you chain 3 again. Slip stitch to the next. And do one more. All in 3 sets. And slip stitch to the next and here I would chain one pull tight kind of lock it and have a long tail for sewing so this is how the flat feet will look like so this is the front part so use your needle to work your way this to the back a bit so later we're gonna sew it here and this is what I meant by flat feet <laughs> and you just sew it here there's no fixed rule and sew it here so long you can see those three toes in the front and you're good Okay, now we're gonna make the wing. I'm gonna start off by making a magic ring or a magic circle. We're gonna do four single crochet in the magic circle. Okay, we have four here. Now we're gonna do 
single crochet one single crochet followed by increase means two single crochet in the same stitch and we're gonna do two sets so one more one single crochet and increase or we call it two single crochet in one okay make sure you fold it inside out so that it's easier to crochet later on okay row three same thing we're going to do one single crochet followed by one increase but this time in three sets so one single crochet increase one single crochet Increase and last set one single crochet increase. Okay, so this row we should have nice stitches all around. So now we're going to do single crochet in the next two followed by an increase. Single crochet. Another single crochet. Increase. So one, two, increase. Oops. Now the next row, this row you should have 12 stitches all around. Next one, it should be single crochet in the next three. Followed by an increase. So one, two, three, increase. One more set. So this row you should have 15 stitches all around. So now the next one. The single crochet in the next four. increase so it's one two three four increase Okay, so you're gonna have 18 stitches all around and so now from row 7 until row 14 
you're just gonna do a single crochet all around there's no increase no decrease from row 7 until row 14 and you're gonna get something like this so you're gonna make two of it and attach to the neck area and this is the hand out oh, or you call it the wing okay this is done it looks like this no stuffing required you do not need any stuffing you just sew it here and later on we're gonna make a scarf to cover the neck so here even though you didn't sew it properly or nicely it's okay and if you notice the head is like kind of tilted a bit to this side why because i think when we go spiral this white part i sew coincide with this white part still the head will tilt the other side now well, it's okay it doesn't tilt that much but the feet i make sure it's within this white area so can you see the black feet so here i'm gonna sew this here so slightly a little bit down so that here i have a little bit space for the scarf to go around okay i'm gonna make a red scalp okay you just sew it here and no stuffing required so now we're gonna do the scalp part the scalp part i'm gonna use red yarn make it look more christmas since christmas is around the corner okay i'm gonna chain five one two Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna do half double crochet and second chain from the hook. It's all half double crochet. So when we chain five, it means that this half double crochet we only have four. Since the penguin is really not that big, this is the, the weed. I'm going to wrap this around the neck. So here we're going to chain two. You're going to hide this later on. Going to chain two, turn the work and same thing, do half double crochet but only on the front loop. only on the front loop it's all half double crochet so you make sure each row you're gonna have four half double crochet whoops it's only on the front loop so there I have four again chain two turn the work yarn over half double crochet on the front loop and you do until row all in should be around 45 rows or you can just wrap it around your penguin and see if that's the desired length that you want Okay, so you continue this you just make sure every row you have all the half double crochet and no more or less so you're gonna get a long rectangle scarf okay you where you can wrap it around the penguin's neck oops okay okay this is how it's going to look like chain 2 only on the front loop or if you have any other pattern 
that you think is even nicer you can make a mini scarf for your penguin according to whatever pattern you can find okay this is how it's gonna look like the front and the back you have you kind of have this line here which is kind of nice for a scarf and later on after you have sold the hand the wing sorry you just wrap this around the neck uh, I will be making 45 rolls all together okay now I'm gonna eat, make the ear mouths I'm gonna start off with a magic ring Inside the magic ring, we're gonna make six single crochet. Okay, six single crochet, and then we're gonna do increase. Increase means two single crochet in each stitch. So this row, we're gonna have 12 stitches all around. The next row, we're gonna do single crochet. Followed by increase. So it's single crochet. Increase Okay, you should have 18 stitches in this row and now do two rows of single crochet all around just single crochet for two rows okay I've made two of it so later when you attach to the uh, penguin you make sure you add some stuffing here if not it will just like curl in okay now we're gonna make the strap here the ear mark. So I leave a long yarn for sewing. So now I'm gonna make a chain 19. I'm gonna attach it here. Just take any one of this. it's slightly longer just in case it'll come off okay so here I have a tail from the magic ring so normally I will 
tie a knot first just in case they might come off okay hide it inside so here I have one so I'm gonna chain 19 This should be yep. So chain nineteen. Okay. If you're gonna set satisfied, you want it to be lower. You can. You can make one or two more chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Maybe I'll make twenty. And you make sure this row is nicely not turned. I mean, this is in a straight line. Then I will attach here with the slip stitch and from here on I will do single crochet single crochet all the way until the other end I will join with the ear mark if you do not want, you can actually just make a chain with two rows of single crochet and when you sew the earmuffs to the head, you sew this string as well. But I prefer to join it. You just make sure that this is not curl up I mean it's in the right side up and not halfway turn the other way <laughs> it wouldn't be nice anymore okay you just single crochet all around until the other end I would join with a slip stitch to the next stitch and then I'll chain one and turn my work and do another row of single crochet so once I'm at the other side I think this is thick enough two rows would be just nice one row it's a bit thin I mean this is up to you if you prefer to have a thin line across the head then you make one row will do and this is the ear mark so the hand there's no stopping on the hand uh, sorry, the wings. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's a penguin. <laughs> There's no stopping for the feet either. It's a flat feet. So the only stopping is the head, the body and the earmuffs. Okay, I come to the end here. I'll just slip stitch to the next stitch. slip stitch and I chain one to tie a knot and then I just cut the yarn it don't have to be that long and I will hide 
put it inside, pull it inwards, and tie a knot with the uh, magic ring tail. Okay, this is how the scarf look like. I leave a long tail. I plan to sew a bit to it. So you can just wrap it around like this. But I prefer to sew just one stitch here. Just onto the scarf. Since I have a, some yarn left. So it's going to be like this. And the earmuffs, I made a mistake just now. When I connect this, this line here, one of it should be inside out. I did not. <laughs> so now when I want to sew it onto the penguin, I realize one have to be flipped in, inward, outwards. So it's not that noticeable unless you really go look at it from near. <laughs> so don't make my mistake. So either you make two mops and you make a line. I mean, you just make a roll of single crochet like this. And when you sew, you sew together with this line. Or if you want to follow my lead just now where I sew this mop to this mop, you make sure one is turned the other way around so that once you connect you see mine was like this so when I connect I forgot to see that actually it's not supposed to be one both ways facing the right way one should face the wrong way so that when it comes when it's connected when you want to connect it when you want to sew it onto your penguin one will face this side because when this is on the right side one will face in one will face out uh, it's just a minor mistake i don't think anyone would notice so here you make sure you add some stuffing before you sew if not this will like sink in so you add some stuffing before you sew it around. Here, I'm not going to sew. I'm just going to sew this side and this side and a bit of this over here. So this is how the uh, finished product look like. So here, this part, I sew halfway first before I start to add stuffing. The top here, I just let it be. I did not sew. And here, I sew one stitch. So it's actually kind of movable so this one it's about nine inches tall or in centimeter it should be around 22 centimeter so this is how it looked like and thank you for watching hope you like this video as much as i do and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in my next video